Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today is a quick mailbag video of stuff I got off of eBay. So let's get started here. The first four items here are all the same, so I'll just open up one to show you. I got um, four of these little joysticks for my uh, RC car videos. Uh, I want to make a remote for each one and so I needed some joysticks for them. Um, these aren't the best of quality but for simple RC cars like I'm doing it's perfectly fine. So I had gotten four of them. Alright, the next item here is also for an RC car project. I'm not sure if it's going to work though because I think the car pulls too much um, amperage, pulls too much current. Um, but this here is a little motor driver uh, similar to the other ones I have, but it's just a smaller form factor. Um, the thing is though, the other ones that have the big heat sink on, they get really, really hot after running for a while. So I'm pretty sure this one here won't work because it'll, there'll be just too much current for it. But, um, I'll test it out and see, but this here will be good for, uh, projects with, uh, motors and stuff that, only draw a small amount of current and next here I think this here is a real-time clock um, this is going to be for another project uh, that's going to be very time sensitive uh, so that's why I wanted the real-time clock I actually think I got yeah, I got two of them here by accident. I was on eBay one day just going through bidding on stuff. And you know how, you know, you can, sometimes you get a little hyper on eBay and just keep buying stuff. But that's okay because I'll use these. I have plenty of projects for them. And the next item is an SD card shield. Again, I'm going to be using this for a project where I need to store data and then I want to make graphs to look at that data. Um, so I will be making more videos on them. I have no idea how to do all that, but I am going to learn. And then once I learn how to do it, I'll show you guys. All right, this next, these next items here are just um, battery holders for um, 18650 lithium ion batteries. Um, I think I got, yeah, I got five of them, but this one here does not have the spring in it. It wasn't even in the package, like it fell off or anything. So, yeah, I'm, I'll have to either solder a spring onto it or something to get it to work or maybe think of something else to do with it uh, but I'm going to be using these to build a charging bank for my 18650 cells that I did a video on before um, the only thing I don't like about these holders is these pieces here that come up over to hold it they're kinda stiff and so getting them in and out can be pretty hard um, but it won't It'll work. If, if I have problems with them, I can just take my Dremel and just cut some of it off. Alright, next item here. Um, you could probably guess at one of, what one of my projects are. In fact, uh, this, pro this here will be used with the with a real-time clock and the SD card um, but this here is a cheap uh, moisture sensor for in the soil it uh, you just stick it in the soil like that and then you connect it to this and I think I'm not sure how it communicates with the Arduino again I have to learn how to use all this stuff but uh, what I'm going to use these three items for is I want to make a environment controlled garden for uh, 
Venus flytraps and uh, pitcher plants, which are basically carnivorous plants that eat bugs. I have a uh, fish tank that I want to use and basically have everything from lighting to heating to water to uh, humidity. Everything's going to be controlled, hopefully, by the Arduino. Um, the clock will be used for such things as turning on the lights and stuff, turning them off. And then in the long run, it will be used to, like, at a certain time of the year, it will change into hibernation like a yeah like a hibernation mode like for winter and stuff so because the plants can't always have perfect weather they have to have a colder and darker time of the year to regain regain strength and stuff um i'll be making more videos on that later but basically that's what the clock is going to be used for and then i'm going to log the data like temperature humidity and stuff and see how much it changes on the sd card and then the soil sensor here's just to measure the moisture and know whether it needs more water or not all right well thanks for watching um if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see these future projects that I was talking about. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. And until next time, thanks for watching.